welcome to the edge. Thank you for joining me for this episode while we divinate the collective energy reading for the star sign of Scorpio for the month of September 2024. I personally want to take a moment to thank each and every one of you, Scorpios or cross watchers, for supporting me and my spiritual journey, as well as many other things I do across the wild, wild web. For contact information, donation information, as well as the, those endeavors, feel free to check out the deets in the description box below. As I am a single mompreneur, starseed of two starseeds myself, documenting my spiritual journey, as well as the many other ways that I create. All right. So Scorpio, when I was meditating on your energy, there were a few things that came to mind. They're going to sound random, Scorpio, but just take it in. A lucky rabbit's foot. A lucky rabbit's foot. Hmm. <laughs> A fox. A fox. A lighthouse. Two, two, two. And fiery hot Cheetos. <laughs> Scorpio, that's literally. <laughs> what came to mind as I was meditating on your energy. Okay, so you take it. You take that how you will. By the power of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, please protect my energy as I divinate this collective energy reading for the star sign of Scorpio. I also petition to the Ascended Masters, the angelic hosts of divine white light of frequency, sound, and vibration, as well as my benevolent ancestors who protect me day and night to guard the watchers of this clip as well and see to it that the message is not derailed by interfering energies mm. as above so below mm. I'm starting off with an oracle, Scorp, messages for Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Messages for Scorpio. Yeah. 10. Assistance with access. Scorpio, it is necessary to take I'm sorry. Scorpio. It is necessary to ask for and accept help in order to receive it. The woman here is holding a key. All right. So. It is necessary to ask for and accept help in order to receive it. It's a cricket, Scorpio, outside my window. Maidenhood is a time of limited anatomy. It is the budding stage of underdevelopmental 
physical and emotional capacities. It is also a period in which there is the least distortion clouding our connection to our higher selves. Conversely, the older we get, the more anatomy we have and the more estranged we are from our higher self. Throughout life, we require the assistance of others, circumstances, and the world in order to grow. Whether or not we like it, acknowledge it, or accept it, a time will come when we cannot ignore that we can neither do everything alone nor have everything done for us. We must learn the middle way of active and receptive living with and amongst others and the world. The maiden holds a key that illuminates her surroundings. She is pointing the key toward her chest where she believes the lock to be. However, her conscious attention and desire are not enough to find the keyhole and unlock her way into all that is within. The maiden requires assistance to discover the full spectrum of who she is. This is the same for every one of us. Like the maiden, Scorpio, we all hold the key to ourselves and simultaneously remain in need of interdependent relationships with other people, places, and situations to assist us in assessing the full terrain of our spirit self. The maiden supports you through a time of asking for help and accepting it from those who are genuinely of pure source, love, and light. Because many Scorpio may appear to be of the aforementioned, but only after you discover, you will allow yourself the time to seek out those who are knowledgeable and truly willing to assist you in learning how to assess and embody your full power and your purpose. Throughout your journey of self-discovery, remember to practice discernment and trust your intuition on whether someone, a situation, a thing, or a place is safe and right for you at this very moment. Always receive with gratitude and love that which is wholeheartedly and transparently given. Attention is your key to everywhere and anything. Your higher self is assessed through the experience of being in harmonious communication with the world, situations, and others. Your external reality is both the reflection of and the aperture into your inner portal. To know who you are is to experience yourself in relation to what it seems you are not. I'm going to read it again, Scorp. To know who you are is to experience yourself in relation to what it seems you are not. So sometimes, Scorpio, more particularly in the month of September, you are going to be put in situations or circumstances or be around situational people that seemingly you may feel that you don't mesh well with only to discover that by being around what you seemingly think isn't your jive actually will help you to experience or learn new layers, facets of yourself that maybe would not have been discovered had you not ventured outside your comfort zone. All right, so we have assistance with access there's something that you're trying to acquire or get a hold of in the month of september and you may need to ask for assistance messages for scorpio mm. Self-love is not egotistical, Scorpio. It shows you and others that you are worthwhile and deserve love in all its many forms. Perhaps you, for some of you, 
in the month of September, you're going to realize that up until this point, you were looking for love in all the wrong places, no pun intended, because you were looking outside of yourself, not realizing that loving yourself starts with you, your higher self. No one is going to love you at the capacity that you yourself don't exude. Hmm. Messages for Scorpio for the month of September. Holy Spirit. <laughs> That's spooky. Scorp, didn't I say something about Fox? <laughs> <laughs> I just knew that fox was going to come out. 14 may be significant. Okay, so October 14th, October 1st, October 4th. Okay, 10 equals um, 1 and 0, which equals 1. 1 and 4, which equals 5. So I would even say October 15th. Okay, November 1st. You have... January and April and May. Hmm. So those may be significant dates for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Assistance with access for Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Mm. You may feel that if you decide to do this, someone or maybe even yourself, you may feel like you need to switch things up here. It's like zigging when you really want to zag, Scorp. Okay. Messages for Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Mm. This may be set off by some kind of circumstance regarding manipulation. Now, I don't know if this is you or someone you're dealing with, but someone lied to you about someone else. And in turn, they lied to this person about you. So there is definitely a third party indicated here, which may be what prompts you to focus on yourself because what you're not realizing is what you're trying to access, you could very easily access, but the reason why you're blocked from doing that has something to do with self-confidence, self-esteem, or discernment on some kind of level, okay? You may be seeking guidance, divine intervention, or needing to in the month of September, but you need to make sure that where you're seeking guidance from is where you need to be seeking it from. Mm -hmm. For some of you, this may be triggered by an Aquarius or somehow an Aquarius may be significant. To this self-love regime in the month of September, okay? Hmm. Let's see where I want to go with this group. Messages for Scorpio. Mm -hmm. You have throat clarifying Aquarius. So this has something to do with communication. I develop a quiet mind that allows me to tune in and get in touch with my higher self or my spirit. I listen for the guidance that is there waiting for me to hear. I am open to the truth and I welcome spiritual inspiration from others. I will benefit greatly by practicing meditation and stillness. I ask for inner guidance to assist me in getting more in touch with my spirit. I know that if I ask for guidance, it will be given. So you can have Aquarius in your chart or again, something significant about Aquarius season. We are in the age of Aquarius also. Yeah, you could be receiving downloads. You're trying to figure out how to communicate them. You may be needing assistance with deciphering a dream or some kind of download here. 
You got crown here also. I feel the divine force flowing through me. I honor this and I know that it flows through all. I am calm and knowing that I am one with all and I contemplate and meditate on this fact. So you're getting meditation twice. You need to think before you speak in the month of September. Absolutely. That's definitely what I just heard. I regularly remind myself that we are all from the same source and that we are all on a journey as spiritual beings experiencing this physical 3D realm. I am aware that I have a choice as to how I respond to what is happening in my life. My responses have an enormous effect on my spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical well-being. Self-love. You need assistance with getting to that next level but you're not realizing that the assistance that you need may not be of the variety that you usually seek it from. Whether that is a friend group or your family or, you know, people at work, whatever the situation is, it may be time for you to seek guidance with your higher self, the divine, whatever spiritual practice you practice, whether that's meditation, prayer, um, you know, getting back in the zone of of Zen. Exactly. Getting back in the zone of Zen, Scorpio. Okay, not saying for some of you, you weren't already on it, but there's something significant in the month of September that it is only then will you be able to get the answer that you're seeking. You know, sometimes we we look all around for the answers, but the answers are within, just like the girl on the card. She's trying to access something within, right? But you can't access within unless you go within. If you solely rely on other people's perspectives and opinions, you will not know the truth. The truth is within and it's coming down from your higher self, obviously indicated here with the crown chakra, throat chakra. You need to think before you speak on this. Mm, come through Holy Spirit. Right. There's a decision that needs to be made in the month of September, Scorpio. All right. And this may greatly affect a few things depending on what that decision is. All right. Messages for Scorpio. You're getting self-love, self-care. In the month of September, it's definitely going to be necessary for you to do this, okay? For you to even reconnect with your higher self, you got to build that energy up, up the spine. You got to build that energy up the spine. Once you get that on and popping, then you'll be able to receive properly. Not saying that you can't receive otherwise, a lot of people do it, but for you to get precision at the level that maybe you're requiring, right? For these answers, for this assistance with access, you need to cleanse. You need to focus on mentally grounding, right? Not just physically grounding, but mentally taking good care or being a good steward of your energy because you deserve love in its many forms. Love is just not a physical encounter or sexual exchange. Love is so much more than that. I encourage you, Scorpio, that if you haven't yet or you're not well aware, perhaps look up the forms of love. For example, um, an art collection I did back in 2022 one of my most popular ones was the Agape Collection, which um, has been featured and, and re-inspired so many times, not just by myself, but by other people, um, where I am a seed and then I am growing because I am one with Mother Gaia as I plant myself in the soil, I become one with the planet. Excuse me. S hypothetically speaking, not literally speaking, but this may be something that you want to visualize, right? Being so grounded that you're deeply rooted and implanted and growing towards the sun. 
okay? This energy working up the spine is going to assist you with completing whatever this cycle is of denial is what I want to say, but what I heard was resistance, okay? So you may be subconsciously resisting whatever this is. Mm -hmm. This could have been something that you desired as early as the spring or something that you intended to do as early as the spring. But what hindered this was fear. Scorpio. So because you got cold feet, you stayed in your comfort zone. This may happen again. Just be prepared. And I want you to know that if this does occur again, that um, not to beat yourself up about it. See, I do things a little different. I don't like telling people ultimately the end all be all this is what's going to happen but this may happen if you decide not to take heed to what spirit is trying to see you observe from a higher perspective okay because remember everything is free will to speak the ultimate outcome over your life is a form of of energy manipulation. When we did get the master manipulator card, we don't master manipulate free will here at Starseed Direct. Now, if I'm praying for the gods to cleanse the earth after a heavy drought, that's a different situation. Mm. Yes, because you know ultimately that the deeper those roots go the higher those leaves grow sun strength empowerment you need to regain your bearings in the month of september scorpio because there is a course correction indicated here you need to prioritize your commitments Mm -hmm. I mean, I cannot make it up if I wanted to. You're getting divine intervention twice. Scorpio, in the month of September, it's a huge wake-up call here regarding some situation. And you need to be mindful that the reason why this may not be so clear to you is because of a situation regarding... Assistance. It is necessary to ask for and accept help in order to receive it. Closed mouths don't get fed, Scorpio. Okay? So maybe perhaps you need to communicate something so that you can get the outcome or have a higher probability in manifesting the outcome you desire. Mm -hmm. But that's going to be ultimately your decision. So, are you going to choose empowerment or fear? Let's get you a cookie. Messages for Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Messages for Scorpio. Reflection. Friendships in your life may come to an end. Others could blossom and become stronger. But you'll never know if you stay cold. To the possibility. Hmm. 
You know, it's quite possible, Scorpio, that sometimes we outgrow the people around us. That has happened many times in my life. That just means your vibration is raising. It may actually harm us to hold on to people that are no longer on our frequency, Scorpio. You'll know that you'll know the subtle differences because seemingly what you thought you didn't need, you'll turn around and see that those very same people are on a different frequency and they're able to navigate and manifest through the shifts. Hmm? That may be what you're reflecting on at this time. There is some two, three, four, maybe even five steps that you made before where you missed this last shift or this is what's going to happen if you don't gain your bearings. The timeline is speeding up, Scorpio. It's definitely time to keep studying. It's always time to study. A wise man knows, Scorp, that he knows nothing. I study every day and I still feel sometimes like a noob. Shameless admission. Got to keep studying. <laughs> Messages for Scorpio. Use discernment and try not to think negatively about the situation because time has proven again and again that change could be a good thing. Moon Scorp. Whoever these people are or circumstances, they may already energetically feel you distancing yourself. Okay? Don't feel guilty about that. Mm. For some of you, it may be emotionally just jarring but think of it as growing pains yeah we're gonna get some tarot in there mm. messages for Scorpio because you know without a shadow of a doubt that when it's real Scorpio it never ends through change, through elevation, through frequency, through manifestation. When it's real, it never ends. And maybe you've come to the realization that some dynamic of what was going on before wasn't real. And you getting tired of what's not real. That's just a part of life. Mm. Messages for Scorpio. Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. This decision has something to do with either a soulmate, a family figure, or it could be an ex. It doesn't have to be. 
This could be someone of your soul tribe. Messages for Scorpio. Mm. This could be someone that you know being honest with or honest with yourself about. may hurt you or that other person maybe you're trying to find the words to say but you're afraid to speak them in the month of September it's going to be important to be transparent right isn't that what the oracle said moon in reverse it's going to be important for you to be transparent about your decisions here and communicate clearly, Scorp, for true happiness will not come if you're not honest with yourself. Maybe you're scared of being exposed. So I don't know what this is, Scorpio. What is this, Scorpio? <laughs> Manipulation? Magician in reverse? Jesus. Mm. You may be afraid for a loved one at this time. Hmm. Whatever the situation is, Scorpio, the decision is ultimately on your terms, which is why it's going to be important for you to use discernment and understanding what is worth taking with you and what is worth not taking with you on this next level. Mm. Reflect and move when God tells you to.